Here's how psychopathic narcissists establish dictatorships in four simple steps. First, radicalization. The aspiring tyrants convince unsuccessful people and social outcasts that they are oppressed. This narrative, whether factual or not, becomes a shield for their tyrannical aspirations, camouflaged behind empty slogans of compassion, liberation, and virtue. Once the victimhood narrative gains traction, the next phase unfolds. Destabilization. Mobilizing their newfound army of victims, these psychopaths call for revolution against anything and everything resembling the status quo, arguing for the transfer of power from oppressors to the self proclaimed liberators, aka the psychopathic narcissists. Now that existing power structures are being destabilized, the psychopaths take advantage of Littlefinger's observation that chaos is a ladder and seize the opportunity to implant themselves in every facet of society, government, academia, media, and beyond. This marks the onset of the third stage, crisis. By exploiting manufactured crises like war, public health emergencies, or economic turmoil, the psychopaths justify consolidating power under the guise of restoring social stability. Citizens, unable to distinguish between wolves and sheep, relinquish control in hopes that the tyrants will rectify the chaos that they created. With the psychopathic narcissists fulfilling their desires of centralizing power within their grasp, any form of dissent becomes a threat to their rule. This is when the final stage ensues, normalization. Through mass imprisonment or execution, the tyrants now purge anyone who questions their authority, including the destabilizing victim warriors who aided their rise, as they're sure to awaken to the fact that they've just replaced one oppressor with another. Throughout this process, only those who adhere to and enforce the tyrants' doctrines are spared from political violence. This is why we must always remember George Orwell's words. One does not establish a dictatorship to safeguard a revolution. One makes the revolution to establish the dictatorship. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you.